Shalom, brothers and sisters, and all praises to the Most High Yahuwah in the name of Yahusha Hamashiach. I'm Brother Jeniniah, and I'm back again. Brothers and sisters, I really want y'all to get this. I really want y'all to understand the first covenant and the second covenant. So, I've been trying to break it down the best I could that you might understand and that you may use that same understanding to explain it to the next person. Explain it to your household, your family members, whoever else. Write it down, the explanation. Go give your own examples of the first covenant and give your own examples of the second covenant. Once you understand what the difference is between the two, uh, you could do your due diligence so that you can put out a video, so that you can explain it on paper or on um, whichever way you, you, you are led to share this information for the most high has opened up the book in the last days and he's explaining his relationship with his son and how they are one he's explaining the first and second covenant he's explaining our jobs as hebrew yasherites the mercy that's in him the truth that's in him is supposed to be in us and we're supposed to share that with others so, the first covenant is like, you look, look at your parents, your mom and dad, where they had to raise you up from a baby. And, you, and as a baby, the baby would look, and look at the mother and father and, and learn by looking and constantly hearing and seeing what the, the, the attributes of the mother and the father and it would take that in and of course it had natural things from the DNA um, that it automatically would do brothers and sisters but the first covenant is like you training up your child in the ways of righteousness that's how the father is dealing with you with the first covenant, he's taken an active role from the outside, trying to work into into the inside of you that your works of righteousness may be shown in the earth. So he wants to teach you through repetition, through studying, through uh, all these different methods. Through, through punishment, through um, multiple methods, y'all. So, everything with the first covenant was really a covenant from the outside working into you that you may make that choice on your own to do all his commandments. To learn them, study them, talk about them, wear fringes so you can remind yourself, write it on the doorpost of your houses, talk about it wherever you did all these things. To remember and repeat the commandments that you may automatically do them by your will. So, so your parents train you up. To a certain period when you're old enough to venture out on your own and you were to remember all that the father or the mother trained you up inside your households and take that good knowledge and good wisdom and whatever else they taught you with you uh, into your households. So that's kind of the first covenant explanation but the second covenant here's the difference with the second covenant the second covenant the heavenly father will put his spirit permanently 
in you first. And then he and you together, you will automatically do all the righteous ways. It's like um, you're not going to need your mother and father anymore to train you up in the ways of life. You just kind of skip over all of that from infant baby all the way up to adulthood. You go straight to adulthood uh, and you would automatically do all the laws, that commandments that the Most High will put in you because His Spirit is in you. So that's another way to understand the difference between the First Covenant and the Second Covenant. So again, uh, the first covenant was a covenant where the temple was on the outside of you. And now the second covenant puts the temple inside of you. The first covenant had Aaron and his sons who were, who still need to do sacrifices for their sins. And before they could cover the sins of Yasharal, sprinkling the blood on the, on the, on the veil and the mercy and all of that. That was all things on the outside of you. But now on the inside of you, you give spiritual sacrifices before the temple that's inside of you by doing good, righteous works of the Most High and obeying His law, statutes, commandments, brothers and sisters. Now the fullness of the second covenant is going to be enacted in its full when the Messiah return, that's when, um, see right now you have the spirit in you, assisting you, reminding you of these laws, its commands, reminding you to love your neighbor as yourself, reminding you to love the father with all your mind, heart, and soul. So there's a joint, um, Venture going on inside of you, a uh, uh, joint agreement working within you. But you got to work with that spirit that's in you. You got to trust that spirit. Let the spirit move you daily. And if you trip, your stomach, get back up, confess, and you keep moving forward, brothers and sisters. You keep moving forward. So, that's pretty much the difference. And then I can cover a whole lot about the first covenant. And, and, and okay, you have to exert your will with the first covenant to choose Almighty Yahweh and his commandments and do them. With the second covenant, it's the Father's will working automatically in you. Where he, it, the law of such commandments are in your DNA now. Your, it's in your mind. It's permanently fixed. It's not going nowhere. You automatically do those things now. Whereas the first one you had to really think about things. You really had to Pick your brain and then and go through trials and tribulations just to learn that certain things were wrong that you was doing. And, and you had other people coming down on you. Hey, you what you doing over there? That's wrong. You know what I mean? You, you had people getting stoned and, uh, and at most high. Breaking out his whipping stick and sending snakes after you and opening up the earth, killing some of us, you know what I mean? And putting plagues out and famine and you had all this stuff going on, working so that you may follow and obey his commandments, brothers and sisters. You even went into captivity multiple times. You just constantly had that whooping stick upon your head. But now the father's in you helping you during this period of mercy. He's helping you. 
And then when the son returned to set up the kingdom of Shemayim, you will automatically do all that stuff without that whooping stick on you anymore, without, uh, without having a parent sitting up there telling you this and telling you that. Of course, when you, in the physical, when, 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 when you have your kids in the kingdom, they're going to come out automatically with all that in them but you still got to take care of them because they still little infants and babies you still got to do all that stuff okay but they're going to be some righteous babies some you ain't going to have no more of the terrible tools the terrible tools and, and that rebellious teenage phase that's gone that's gonna be completely gone, and 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 all the little bad things that the kids doing, uh, uh-uh, no, no more of that. The Most High making a covenant with the land and the animals. Your child not gonna be running in there bit by a bumblebee or ants that ran up his leg and bit him all up, and uh, uh-uh, that's all gone. That's going away, y'all. That's going away. For the Father has said He's gonna make a covenant with the land and the animals there will be ultimate peace within the land of Yasharal now outside of that land if the heathens in their general areas do not do the will of the father they they will get the curses put on them they will get um, famine put upon them pestilence the most high would he, he going to do some things to them. But we who are in our land, including with the Gentiles that's going to walk in with us into our land, the whole land is going to be completed. We're going to be done. There, there ain't going to be no need for no correction for anybody in our land. But outside the land, that's different. So I just wanted to throw that little piece of information in, uh, that I've explained in other videos. Uh Go check out my past videos, brothers and sisters. Just kind of go backwards from here and rewatch the videos in its entirety if you have not. But, uh, again, the first covenant is a covenant that's the Father worked from the outside to the inside of you that you may make that decision to do His laws, such as commandments outwardly in your life the second covenant is the father working from the inside automatically outwardly in your life this is the true mercy and love of the heavenly father to save you do y'all see it do you see the love the compassion the I mean, he loves his children who love him. And he will give you that free gift of salvation if you receive it. If you take it upon yourself. If you say, I'll, I'm going to receive this free gift of salvation that the Heavenly Father has sacrificed his only begotten Son to save me and bring me into the covenant bring me into the kingdom of Shemayim his kingdom his way and he will send his spirit into you that it will help lead and guide you during this period until the sun return and then it's going to be automatically done in your life all righteousness brothers and sisters so I thank y'all for tuning in for this explanation of the first and second covenant. If you have any questions, please email me or put it in the comment section below. Much love and y'all continue to pray for me as I'm praying for all of you. Hallelujah. Yahuwah.